Hey, check it out! 7 Exercises to Relieve Nerve Pain in Minutes Do you suffer from sciatica? Sciata what a <laughs> Sciatic nerve pain. It's a shooting pain that can show up in your lower back, butt, hips, and legs. It's a real nightmare for those who suffer from it, and many are willing to turn to invasive surgery to get rid of it. But that's not even necessary in over 75% of cases. One of the most effective methods to fight sciatic nerve pain is regular therapeutic exercises. Keep watching to find out more. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to join us on the bright side. We'll start the first set of exercises on the floor. Yup. You can use a yoga mat or simply put a blanket on a flat surface. Don't forget to close all the windows and doors so there isn't a draft and make sure that it's not too cold in the room. Now you're ready to begin. Exercise 1 Yuri Elkheim, a nutrition and weight loss expert, states that the eye of the needle stretch is one of the most effective exercises you can do to relieve sciatic nerve pain. So, let's give it a go, shall we? Start by lying on your back with your knees bent. Then, raise your right leg and place your right ankle on your left thigh. From there, wrap your hands around the back of your left thigh and pull it towards your body. <laughs> Stay in this position for at least 30 seconds without lifting your head off the floor. Do 2-3 to three reps on each leg for the best results. Exercise number 2 For this one, you'll remain on your back with your knees bent. But this time, rest your arms alongside your body. Now raise your legs a little bit off the ground. Keep lifting and lowering them 5 times. Exercise number 3 For the last floor exercise, thank goodness, you'll need a tennis ball. Lie down on it so it's positioned right under one of your buttocks. Eh, the left one. Then, gently move to find the sore spot. After you find it, just press there carefully for about 30 to 60 seconds by relaxing your body onto the ball. You can also roll it up and down this area. After that, try to find another painful point and do the same thing. Avoid the spinal area while rolling the ball, though, and stop immediately if you feel a sharp pain. For the best possible effect, repeat this exercise 1-2 to two times a day for 5-10 to 10 minutes straight. Now, the next set of exercises should be done in a seated position. Exercise number 4 This first one is actually a yoga pose. It's called Half Lord of the Fishes, uh-huh. And it's known to not only ease sciatica, but also energize the spine, stimulate the work of the liver and kidneys, and give a good stretch to your muscles. So, begin the exercise by sitting on the floor and holding your bent legs in front of you. Leaning on your left leg, move your right leg over your left thigh with your leg still bent. Now, straighten your right arm and lower it to the floor. Bend your left arm at the elbow and place it on your right knee. Complete the exercise by gently twisting your head and body to the right, just like a pretzel. Hold this position for about 30 seconds and then repeat the same thing for your left leg. Now you'll need to get off your bum and stand up for these last few exercises. Exercise number 5 The second and final exercise of this set is a lot simpler. 
sit on a chair and place your left ankle on your right knee. Then, carefully lean forward while keeping your back straight. Hold this pose for 10 breaths and go back to the initial position. Repeating this exercise 5 times for each leg will do the trick. Exercise number 6 To perform our first standing exercise, you have to place one foot on an elevated surface, like a chair or table, while keeping your leg and toes straight. From this position, gently stretch toward this leg as close as you possibly can until you feel a clear resistance in your thigh. Hold this pose for 30 seconds without lifting the thigh of the raised leg higher. Then go back to the initial position. Don't forget to repeat this exercise 2-3 to three times for each leg. Exercise number 7 And to finish off the workout and remove sciatic pain for good, bend your left leg and place it on an elevated surface once again. Take a small step back with your right foot and gently stretch toward your left leg as close as possible. Hold this position for 5 breaths. Repeat the same thing for the other leg, and your therapeutic training is complete. With time, you'll see your back, hip, and leg pain out of your life for good. Oh, and as an added bonus, you'll have more flexibility and a better range of motion in your hips. It's a win-win. Of course, don't forget to consult your doctor before proceeding with this short exercise plan, especially if you're pregnant or have serious or chronic illnesses. Only your doctor can tell you whether or not your body can handle this workout and what improvements you can add to make it even more suitable and effective for you. Now, if you really enjoyed some of these exercises, then you should definitely give yoga a try. First of all, it does help relieve sciatic nerve pain. Plus, according to Dr. James Carson, a psychologist at the Comprehensive Pain Center at Oregon Health and Science University, practicing yoga regularly helps your body function more smoothly. This lowers your chances of falling into the type of posture that can aggravate sciatica. So, if you've never tried yoga before, now is definitely the time to give it a go, since it's also great for your figure and mental health guys. Home remedies can also help you deal with this problem if it occurs way too often. One way to do it is to use essential oils, like ginger oil or peppermint oil. For the ginger oil treatment, you have to mix 4 drops of it with 1 tablespoon of coconut oil and apply the final mixture to the affected area. Ginger oil has powerful soothing and anesthetic properties that can quickly relieve the pain. The peppermint recipe is completely the same and is also known to work wonders for sciatica thanks to its anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving effects. Your diet also plays a bigger role here than you may think. A study conducted by Italian researchers confirmed that the regular intake of vitamin D can help treat sciatica. Experts also add vitamins B12 and C to this list. So, make sure to eat more foods that are rich in these elements to maintain your health. For vitamin D, the best products are salmon, oysters, egg yolks, and mushrooms, to name a few. You can find a significant amount of vitamin B12 in sardines, beef, tuna, and dairy products. And for more vitamin C in your life, Add sweet yellow peppers, parsley, kiwis, broccoli, and lemons to your diet. Making yourself a cup of celery juice every day will also do wonders. Just take some fresh celery, dice it up, add water, and put everything in a mixer. Once your juice is ready, 
add a bit of honey and drink it at least twice a day. Celery will reduce pain and inflammation in no time, which is exactly what anyone who suffers from sciatic nerve pain needs. And finally, to double your chances of getting rid of nerve pain once and for all, you have to make some lifestyle changes. First and foremost, try to pay attention to your posture, because it can make or break your sciatic nerve condition. Another important thing is to avoid lifting really heavy objects and try not to wear high heels too often. Oh, I can handle that. If you work in an office and usually sit for most of your workday, make sure to do little exercises or stand up every 20 minutes to lessen the pressure put on your back. Basically, the more active your lifestyle is, the better. However, if nothing works and the situation slowly but steadily gets out of control, you should definitely see a doctor as soon as possible. So, do you know any other tricks to relieve sciatic nerve pain? Tell us in the comment section below! Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe. Always stay on the bright side of life!